to present our first Parsons Table Award of the night. Please welcome special correspondent to Vanity Fair, Amy Fine Collins. Hello. Julie Wainwright, founder and CEO of The Real Real, has built an ideal business model based on authenticity, trust, expertise, and a social conscience. Ever since 2010, The Real Real has been reducing fashion's footprint. Julie's epiphany came nine years ago when she realized that in closets all over the world, there were untapped resources. But unlike industries based on natural resources or data collection, Julie's business came with environmental benefits. Luxury items she recognized could live long, happy lives with more than one owner. With The Real Real, Julie created a vast circular fashion economy. The Real Real is now the first company in the resale industry to join the UN Climate Change's Fashion Industry Charter for Climate Action and the first to quantify the positive effects of consignment on the planet with its sustainability calculator. Every innovation Julie makes reshapes the fashion world while at the same time keeping us better dressed at a better price. I'm very proud to present the Parsons Table Award to my dear friend, Julie Wainwright. All right, hi, wow, this is awesome. Um, so I'm gonna get a little more personal here. I'm really honored to accept this award in Parsons. I'm uh, the daughter of art students. Uh, they graduated at, from the, well my mother didn't because that's what women did then, but my father did from the Chicago Art Institute. So I grew up surrounded by creativity and to be honest, it, a little odd artist craziness. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then when I look back, and really what influenced my life, because I'm on, you know, I'm getting up there. Um, my father liked to salvage places like the dump. And he would come home with things like huge cogs. Cog, C-O-G. <laughs> would come home with cogs. I know it could get a little tricky. But what he would then do is turn it into lights, hanging lights. And my mother, who had hopes of becoming a fashion illustrator, sort of those were dashed, but she was always a student of fashion through the ages. She loved drawing period costumes. She sketched current designers. She started teaching me the color wheel before I was two. She also liked to test me on the color wheel. Um, so all of this happened as probably before I was reading. She tried to teach me how to play bridge at the same age. So she had a lot of aspirations. The bridge thing never stuck. But what happened was I grew up with a deep love of creativity and seeing the world differently. And so this is why this award is so special to me because I think Parsons epitomizes creativity and seeing the world differently. So thank you very much for Parsons. But now here's my real, real commercial. So as you heard from Amy, she was actually a person that found out about us very early. She really has a nose for early adoption. And about eight years ago, I started it because I wanted to leverage a great, I saw a great opportunity to leverage technology combined with service to recirculate luxury goods in a way that maintains the products and brands integrity. And with any disrupting business, the fashion industry has taken a bit, some longer than others, to come to our side and see our value. But we are now a force and we're starting to get, we're just getting started and we're really getting big. We're building a company with integrity, trust, and transparency. And of course, fulfilling a real need in the market. And by doing so, success happens. We have introduced hundreds of thousands of new people to covetable brands that were new to them. We've paid over $1 billion 
cumulatively to consigners who have worked with us. But most importantly, we have saved 1.3 billion glasses of drinking water. We've reduced emissions to the equivalent of 87 million driving miles. And in case you want to understand what that is, if you started our Soho store and you drive to our store in West Hollywood, which we call WeHo, you have to do that 31,000 times. So, I am so proud. I'm so proud of the Real Rail and my team. We've really become a force in sustainability. We love what we do because it's a great way to help the planet while also perpetuating beauty. So again, thank you to Parsons. This means so much. And if there's any aspiring arts um, students that I know there are in the audience, um, I want to leave you with this thought. Starting a business is super, super hard. And there's so many ups and downs. And there's days when you're going to say, this is ridiculous, and I can't do it. But you can, and it's really worth it. So keep going. Thank you very much. Please welcome the editor-in-chief of Mary Claire, Anne Fullenwider.